So I really think of social media more as my engagement, brand awareness, brand building. You can obviously get a lot more of an emphasis when someone's viewing a video online about your business than just seeing a picture or reading the text on a page. I think it's great if you can do a lot of it in-house. I think that's great when you're gonna do stuff for social media, but I do caution that when you're gonna post it onto your website, that's when your audio is gonna be much more important when you're lighting. That's when I would go with more the pro because you want what's gonna be on your, on your main company page to really reflect your brand, and that's where I'd invest the money if you're going to do that. The reason that we say it's inexpensive is the fact that once you do it, it's always accessible. So compared to a print campaign or other types of advertising venues, once you do it, it's out there forever. You keep it up on the internet, it's going to be there for years to come, so it provides a tremendous return. We know that video can be incorporated into all the marketing channels mentioned today. You can have it on your website, you can have it in social media, you can put it in a blog. Don't forget a call to action if you're going to do it yourself, not just putting out content. What do you want them to do? You want them to perhaps purchase, learn more, check you out. exactly my targeting and thinking about that when you're crafting your message.